Well, an update tonight on the search for a missing teacher in Prince George's County. Miriam Torre Silla was last seen a week and a half ago in Greenbelt. Just two hours ago, the ambassador from the Ivory Coast joined her sister to ask for everyone's help bringing her home. They described her as a kind, quiet woman. Silla also inspired her students, so much so they printed flyers and have led the search for their teacher. This is a very painful moment for a family, for her friends, for a school, and we'll be really grateful for any single person who can be of help. Now, earlier today, Greenbelt, Maryland's police chief said he is confident there is someone who has seen, who has information rather, about the whereabouts of Miriam Silla, and he's asking for people to come forward. Scott Broom is in Greenbelt this afternoon with the latest on the efforts to find her. The tension and anxiety here in Greenbelt continues in the wake of Police Chief Richard Bowers' update on the Miriam Silla case. I, I feel confident that out there somewhere is a person who has seen her or has information as to her whereabouts. Everything is just scary. Teachers, parents, and friends gathered at police headquarters hoping for news heard this from the chief. So we're asking that they contact the city of Greenbelt Police Department. Bowers did not say what leads him to his conclusions. He did say an investigation of Scylla's cell phone, social accounts, financial and passport records have yielded no positive results. Scylla is a teacher at the nearby Dora Kennedy French Immersion School. The news leaving parent Meadow Platt holding back tears. My son is really worried. He's 10. We went out last night putting up um, posters of her around the neighborhood. And he the search for Scylla is now featured on the National Black and Missing Foundation website, which reports cases involving missing people of color languish four times longer than other cases. Scylla went missing July 29th when she did not return from a routine walk here at the Schramm Hills Park in Greenbelt near her home. Police say her cell phone last pinged in this area, but based on exhaustive searches, investigators say they don't think she's anywhere near here. Here now. Fellow Dora Kennedy School teacher John Eno says Scylla is like a sister to him. Give you any speculation on why she might want to go somewhere or anything like that? Absolutely not. No. But I'm not surprised that she took a walk that evening and she did that religiously. There was nothing that would make me suggest that she would just decide to wander away and, and disappear like that. Greenbelt police also said today they have no information that might link Scylla's case to the discovery of two as yet unidentified bodies in other parts of Prince George's County in the past two weeks. Police continue to classify the Scylla mystery as a missing persons case, maintaining confidence today that someone out there has seen Mariam Scylla and not yet reported it. In Greenbelt, Scott Broom, WUSA 9.